Is this my first time on Tank Radio? Second. Second time. I'm with Ray here at the ICOM booth, and this is the first time we have a functional display of the 905. Can you tell us a little about it? Tell you a good bit about it. It's, it's been a fun radio to talk about. Um, we've actually surprised people with it being in the backpack side by side with the 705. I'm kind of hoping to see soda microwave. Um, when, you, when you really think about it, activating those bands, somebody that does soda work, HF can be hit or miss. Well, with the microwave, you let enough people know you're going to a rare grid area, you're going to get a lot of activations. And when you take a look at the activations on the bands, which is 2 meter, 70 centimeter, 23 centimeter, 1.2, 2.4, 5.6, and then with this box, 10 gig. 10 gig? 10 gig. Awesome. So when you're looking at 10 gig, we've got a 10 gig omnidirectional, uh -huh. 5.6 and 2.4. Antennas like from Comet, I know they've got a 2 meter 440 and 1.2 gig tri-band antenna. Use that as your walking stick. Set up a nice little tripod with it. The radio runs off a of 12 volt DC. You've got your plug in here. And one of the things that that surprises people is when we show it, that's a heat sink on the back of it. That, that did surprise me. So there's no RF in this bad boy at all. And you can see, you get up to a summit and it's a little cold, all you got to do is take it out and put your hand on it because you got a heat sink. Nice, nice. Built in hand warmer. So that feeds through a LAN cable mm -hmm. up to the RF deck. This RF deck has got tri band, 2 meter, 440, 1.2 on an N type connector, then 2.4, 5.6. Okay. The 2.4 feeds the transverter for 10 gig. For your time base, you got a GPS antenna, so your frequency stability is, is GPS locked. Nice. If you want to have for the 10 gig a, an external reference input, you've got that as well. Now, it is not your microwave aficionado type radio. Those kind of guys, they like to think about needing preamps, amplifiers, things like that. IOs for all of that stuff, that doesn't have it. These are just very simple to operate out of the box type product for those bands. Functionality wise, it's very similar to the 705, 7300, 9700. You want to change bands? You change it just by selecting whatever you want. You can even direct frequency input. This is ham band only. So it's not going to, you're not going to be at the mountaintop and listening to the FM broadcast or anything like that. This is just ham band only. So that improves the performance of the front end of the radios and things like that. Just like on the radios I mentioned earlier, you hit the mode at 10 gigs, sideband, CW, RTTY, AM, A ATV, which is analog amateur television. Oh, that's awesome. FM, digital voice, D-Star, DD mode, D-Star, and then a data mode. So you, it does have a LAN port on the out, on the out of it. Uh -huh. So if you're at the mountaintop, no cellular coverage, you need internet. If you have a 10 gig, 5 gig, 2.4 or 1.2 gig node at home, you can hit it. You've got uh, awesome. you've got 128k bit per second data rate. Oh, that's so cool. Uh, for your ATV, let's go here. Menu, video. So you've got your receive side as well as your transmit. Uh -huh. So it's got video input and output. You touch the video screen, it takes it to the full size. You can't see this, but I'm literally shocked. That, that's surprising you built it into the radio. Yes. That is so cool. Um, the scope itself, just like on the other radios, you can tune to wherever you want by just touching on the screen. Mm -hmm. um, we'll make it full size scope with the waterfall. One difference though is the span. We've got 2.5 meg wide plus or minus, 5, 10 meg plus or minus, 25 meg plus or minus. Mm -hmm. 
So we're looking at 50 mega spectrum at one time. Now you can see we're too close to the edge of the band, so it's going to drop off, but as soon as I shift it over. That's pretty cool. And then again, it'll go to the ridiculously low. We're on 10 gig. You're not going to really look at a signal at <laughs> plus or minus 2.5 K wide, but yeah. yeah, you will on two meters. Nice. I like it. I like it. When's it going to be released? Unfortunately, we don't have data at this point. Okay. Um, one of the sayings that I have when you see something from ICOM under glass, it's going to be a minimum of one year. So we showed the product at Dayton last year under glass. So somewhere around Dayton before or after we don't know yet but uh, seeing that we have an operational unit here instead of something under glass speaks volumes on the, the development of the product it's getting close it's yes getting close and uh, do we have an idea of price points not yet okay Dude, I can't wait to get my hands on this radio and play with it. Yeah, it's we, going to be a we fun one. We were looking at it earlier, and we tuned it to the um, Wi-Fi frequency and just seeing all the Wi-Fi around, and we were literally making a joke. We can hear the Internet. So here, this is plus or minus 25 is the max. Mm -hmm. And that's all the Wi-Fi around. That's cool. That's cool. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you, Tank. Thank you, everybody. Thank you to all my Patreon supporters. You can support me on Patreon. There is a link in the description below. And to all my tankers out there, go forth and conquer.